Hello everyone, in this video I'm showcasing a website I created called Auctions for the CS50's web programming and Python with Python and JavaScript course. In this video I'll be showing various features that this website has. So after the user has registered on the registration page, they can log in. And once they log in, they have various options like looking at categories of items or uh, items that they've watched watch listed which are which is like favoriting and also creating a new listing so i'll go over creating a new listing first when you create a new listing you have to type in the title of the item you want to sell as well as a short description of um, the item you want to sell so for this i'll just say And you have to leave a starting bid, which is how much money you want them to start with. So, and that's in US dollars for this website. You can leave an image URL and a category um, choice. And then you can create a listing. Once you create the listing, the item comes up on the website for everyone who's logged in or logged out and people can start bidding on it. So since I'm signed in as M. Nahim Khan, maybe I'll show the bidding process through another, another user's um, perspective. Okay, so another user I've created. I'll just log in. Okay, so I can see that I can bid on this item and I have to do above $10. If I do like nine and try to make a bid, it'll throw up an error. So maybe I'll offer 12. Oh, I'll offer 12 and then make the bid. And my bid was successfully made. And now the current price is $12. And the original creator of the bid can also go check their own item out. Um, and it will have a slightly different layout. It'll allow them to close the listing whenever they are satisfied with the price. So maybe like I never thought it would go as high as $12. So I just closed this listing and now the view somewhat changes um, because I'm the producer, the creator of the item. It'll tell me that it was sold to the user Suhanya over here. If I refresh the page, it'll give me a success message. It will show me that I won the auction and to any other uh, user. Well, firstly, it won't show up because um, it's not active anymore. It's been closed. But if I maybe had bookmarked it earlier, it would show that an anonymous user has won the auction. Um, another feature is that you can uh, place items on your watch list. So maybe Sohania wants to place it on their watch list. And when they go to watch list items, it will be right there. This user has a different set of watch list items. So they see different products here that they can click on and go to the, their respective websites. Um, another feature is the comments section. So you can leave comments for items on this website. Let me find it. No, okay. It's not active anymore. Okay. So I could say like, And upon refreshing, you can see all the comments left by all the users. And I have other entries with more comments just to show that it works. Um, finally, you can also go to categories to see the category of items for those uh, for uh, those items where users have typed in the category. So I just created an item with the category toys. So under toys, I see the yo-yo. Um, oh, the chess was under... Oh, okay, because it's been closed now. So yeah, the categories also only shows active items as required by the specifications. So yeah, um, this is the website overall. Oh, before I move on, there's also the admin feature, which makes this web, which makes with making websites with Django very powerful. So 
if you log in with an administrative account, you can see that I have underneath all of these um, like models, which is how the website exactly works. So if you look at this website, there's like many different things at play and in, that are inter, uh, interrelated. For example, there's the items on the listings, there's the comments under each item, and then there's like the association with um, the association with where is it comments yeah here's comments um each item has associated with it like users who bid on it and so on so this is how the data is like related to each other um in the code and being a django admin allows you to modify that so for example i could go on a listing like the chessboard and maybe say okay i don't want it to be closed anymore and save that and what that does is if i refresh this page here the chessboard is back here again and i can just change various other things like the users who have it watch listed for example um, and so on so all of the fields that are associated with each data type they are all interrelated for example comments are also like just related to the author who is a user the content and the listing which is again like another object within this web framework so this is the power that django gives you by using django you can become a powerful web developer thank you very much arigato